Hello guys, let's discuss the next 15 questions of uh, NSA morning session November 2022. So question number 41, uh, there was a question regarding Sir Twins and they asked multiple correct options were there which is a true statement. So 7 Sir Twins are there in number, total in number that's correct. Based on real it is that's correct. It increases the longevity, this is also correct. And increased insulin sensitivity and glucose uptake, this is also correct. So all, all 4 correct options must have been there. So that will be the right answer. Question number 42, there was an image based question and they had, that had shown keratin pulse and they also mentioned that P40 is positive. So if this was the question and there was an image like this where we get like this kind of keratin pearls then the answer should be squamous cell carcinoma and there was also something like uh, chromogranin and uh, uh, if that is the thing um, uh, chromogranin one if that is there then it will be neuroendocrine tumor but this is um, squamous cell carcinoma if keratin pearl was mentioned like this so uh, question number 43 there was features of anemia there was macrocytosis and uh, the person was vegetarian this is an important clue and also this one methyl methyl norm was normal so um, this can either be uh, folic acid deficiency or vitamin b12 deficiency but since methyl melanol uh, coa is normal the answer will be folic acid deficiency okay question of 44 gel vega syndrome they asked what is the defect in pharisosome lysosome beta oxidation of fatty acid and mitochondria so the defect must have been in uh, the answer to this defect is uh, in pharisosome okay uh, question number 45 there was the image i think this image was only given of tonsils with this orange color thing so this is a characteristic uh, feature that we get in the case of uh, that we get in the case of tangier's disease okay we get in this um, this characteristic seen in tangier's disease and that is due to the mutation and this abca1 gene and also hdl deficiency will be seen question number 19 there was a thyroid question 19 year old girl with a swelling for six months which moves with deglutition and this invades the anti strap muscles or sternocleida muscle something like that was mentioned and one histopathological exam uh, my examination image was shown so and they asked what is the diagnosis if the image was like this like clearly the way that we get this orphan any eye nuclei kind of thing then in that case it is definitely papillary carcinoma papillary thyroid carcinoma will be the answer and there was an x-ray given uh, um, of boot shaped heart so we know this boot shaped heart that we get it is classically seen in tetralogy of phallet so that will be the answer and there was one direct question uh, regarding the prophylactic dose of lithium in acute mania so in acute mania the prophylactic dose that we, given, that we talk about is 0. 0.6 to 1.5 so that will be the correct answer and um, there were two questions like this happened so many times where two questions similar questions are repeated in our time i remember there was a question regarding maze and they had asked um, two questions regarding that pelagra thing so in this case it was alkalinization of urine two questions were asked it hastens the elimination of what weak acids weak base strong electrolyte so the answer for this is alkalinization of urine will hasten the elimination of weak acid okay and another question regarding that was urine alkali therapy is helpful in so we know salicylate poisoning this helpful in salicylic acid is weak acid and is helpful in salicylate poisoning so these two questions as answered now question number 51 what is the drug that is given during thyroid surgery to prevent bleeding this one we know that preoperatively iodides are used to um, shrink the size of the thyroid and also to decrease the vascularity so that there is less bleeding during the operation so iodides will be the answer then question number 52 magnesium national sildenafil another direct questions it will, does it work through the cmp cgmp so we know sildenafil it works through the nitric oxide and that um, works by activating the um, cyclic gmp so that will be the answer and another direct question like in pharma i think there were a lot of direct questions i guess mechanization of finasteride so um, finasteride we know it is uh, the mechanization is 5 alpha reductase inhibitor 5 alpha reductase inhibitor okay finasteride it prevents the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone now question number 54 um, carbamazepine has all the side effects more than that of ox carbamazepine except so um, except which one so hyponatremia will be the answer in this hyponatremia thromocytone and ash in everything else carbamazepine has more side effects but hyponatremia if ox carbamazepine will have more side effects question number 55 uh, exact question i don't know what you do i didn't get i think it's the question was like this which of the following helps wbc's in the step of binding 
um, or migration through the uh, endothelial cells. So for this, the answer will be PCAM, not e selectin, you know, not e selectin or platelet, but PCAM will be the answer. So these were the 15 questions that I had to discuss. Thank you guys. Keep supporting and share with your friends and do do like the videos, guys. That helps in the algorithm and it helps YouTube to reach the video to the other people. So like the video and also if you have any feedback, mention that in the comment section and and I'll see you for the next session. Bye.